It all started with the mention of the length of the road during the flag off for reconstruction of Uhonfi Arajuku Road by Governor Alex Oti and his works commissioner Utumchere Oti. And let me formally welcome you to the flag off of the reconstruction of the 41.4 kilometer Uhonfi Arajuku Road. It is an asphaltic concrete road, 41.4 kilometers long. First, it was former Governor Oji Kalu through a press statement who countered Governor Oti's claims on reconstructing the entire road when some portions had already been fixed by the federal government. Also, former House of Representatives member for Arochukwonho for federal constituency, Ukumkole, corroborated Kalu's assertion. From Osoja Junction to the zero point, is 30 kilometers. It may add the potencies and give other three kilometers. It's not more than 33 kilometers. The Commissioner for Works was absent when we visited for further clarifications, and even the permanent secretary who we met could not offer much help. And as a permanent secretary, my commissioner will authorize me to talk before I talk. In search of answers, I surfed the internet and found myself on geodatos.net, an online geographic platform which gave the entire measurement of the road from Ebemohofia to Arochuku as 28 kilometers. Those who raised issues about the road were insistent that some sections of it had been fixed. What really needs intervention and what the governor is going to do is no more than 12 kilometers out of the 33 kilometers. So it will be wrong. For him to claim that he's going to do 41 kilometer stretch. Already we have a company that is constructing that road, and what is left of that road is 14.5 kilometers. One sure way of confirming or disputing any party's claims was having a first hand knowledge of the road, and so we boarded a taxi to Ohofia and alighted at the old Soja Junction, Ebem, which is the beginning of the road. <laughs> From there, we boarded motorcycles and took a ride to Arochukwu. <laughs> Truly, some sections of the road from Ohofia end and even Arochukwu end had been fully reconstructed, although some portions already developed potholes. I'm standing right on the boundary between Ohofia and Arochuku communities. So it has taken time for the contractor to complete this project, hence the state government's decision to take over the project and complete it for the use of the people. The people also challenged the governor's loan acknowledgement of the former premier of the eastern region, late Michael Obara, as the only one who did something tangible on the road. You cannot uh, really get to the background the contributions of other leaders, it is it is very wrong for any leader to do that. We have seen action steady on that road project. Now we are coming back to also give the impression to the world that that road was a desert, the whole place was a desert, nothing happened. I mean, government and at that level shouldn't function that way. When all of us, these are things we can um, um, see, feel, and touch, and understand. While some citizens throw tantrums on distorted figures, others only look forward to having the bad sections of the road repaired. There is no vehicle that go to this road and come back safely. The road has been given us sleepless nights. Even Okada that we used to drive it from him, half year to Anuchuku, sometimes our attire will spoil on the road. The governor had also, on that flag of day, appealed to the federal government to ensure that the state gets its refund for the road, a mission the former legislator believes might be difficult for many reasons. No official documentation has been done on that federal alignment and no official handover. Otherwise, we have seen the minister's representative on the side speaking. The question, therefore, is which part of the road has the state government flagged off for reconstruction, the entire stretch of Ohofia Arochuku Road or the section that is yet to be fixed. In Arochuku for New Central, Chinwe Ugili.